Warcry is a great game. In fact, I think it's my favorite game of all time coming out from Games Workshop. But as with all games, it has a few flaws. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven things I wish we could change about Warcry. Welcome in, people of the tube. My name is Peter Tubor. This is Age of Miniatures, and this here is a quick video going over seven things I wish we could change about Warcry. The first thing I find annoying about the game and the way the mechanics work is toughness. And my big gripe with toughness is that it seems it is overcosted in the points value of the miniatures and the fighters. Every warband that is sort of tough is not very good and it seems like the stat is overcosted in the algorithm that they use to stat and cost out the fighters and when we look at all of the stats for the fighters in Warcry it just seems like toughness is overrated in the minds of the creators leading to all of the tough warbands being poor so there's a few ways to change it you could just adjust the points values so toughness does not cost that much but you could also change the game so that you can actually only hit on a 6 plus. That will be quite a change and maybe it will shift the balance somewhat. But being Warcry, it's a game about crits, it's a game about hitting those 6s. So maybe that's not even enough. But it's just sad that the tough, cool warbands are not that great. Something else I would really like to see, and this is number 2, it's mainly for campaign play, but could also be used in a more match play setting. In the upcoming release of the new Blood Bowl edition, they have actually baked the tiers into the system. Depending on the team that you play, it might be the highest tier or the next tier or the lowest tier. Tier 1, 2 and 3. And what that does is that it can leave a room for warbands to not be perfectly balanced against each other but you can get some small perks for having one of the lower tier warbands. And I think for campaign play in Warcry, that would be a really neat system. Of course, we could house rule it or as a community come together and make a tier list and maybe do something with that. But I really like the idea that Games Workshop sort of adapts that everything does not have to be perfectly balanced. Some warbands can be better than others. But then we have some small perks for having the warband that is not necessarily epic or great. Thing number three I think we could change in Warcry is how valuable movement is. Warcry is a game of movement and moving to the objectives, getting your fighters to the position where they can be relevant. So high movement on a fighter, especially a fighter that can hit really hard, is just amazing for a warband. Sometimes having a very low movement or just low movement can mean that a fighter cannot even get to a place in the combat where they are useful. You might have uh, the dagger, the shield or the hammer being completely irrelevant for the whole game depending on the scenario, the terrain and so on. I think that's okay but it just goes to show how great movement is and maybe it's slightly undercosted in the way that they have statted out the fighters. Thing number four I would like to see changed is the icon system for the abilities. While it looks great and on paper it sounds fine, but I have found that when playing a new warband that I haven't played a lot before, it can get slightly confusing. My biggest gripe with it is that some of the symbols are just too similar. As an example, the leader and the elite symbol is quite similar and it just, every time I just need to think about ah, how does this work. When we have just a regular warband specifically made for Warcry, this is not a huge deal, but right now we got some warbands with a lot of fighters and a lot of symbols and it will get even worse when the new books comes out. We will get a lot more abilities for each warband making this just a weird design decision. That leads us to thing number five I would like to see changed is that right now Games Workshop have decided to flood the game with warbands from Age of Sigmar. 
And I get it's kind of cool that you can play all of the armies from Age of Sigma in Warcry, but it has made the game slightly weird. There are a lot of balancing issues between the warbands, especially the last wave of warbands. Some of them are completely bonkers compared to the original warbands for Warcry. Also, it's hard to justify in the setting and the lore for Warcry, which is various warbands fighting in the eight points for sort of the glory of chaos. And right now we just got every man and his grandma duking it out in eight points. And I really can't sort of explain all of it. It just seems slightly weird. And it was clearly not what was intended from the start. But I guess it is because Warcry is so popular. They want to put out some more products to it and giving out a warband for a faction where models already exist is quite cheap and easy to do. In some regards, it's cool, but in other ways, it's uh, a bit funky. A thing they could do was to sort of separate the two games into two. So we have sort of the core game with the normal warbands and then we have the expansion. Number six. One of the things I still find weird with Warcry is when we set up the game and one of the players can win in the first turn without the other player acting. This is mostly or this is only an issue when we use the cards, but it ah, it just it's not really good game design. A thing that we have found to change it up a bit is to change the sequence of when the cards are revealed. So instead of revealing all four of the cards when we set up, we slowly reveal them one by one. So when we set up the terrain and we set up the fighters, we actually don't know what the scenario is yet. And this has made it so it's a lot harder to get in position where you can win in the first turn. At other times, we just decide to reroll with the cards and set up again, but ah, it can get a bit wonky. Thing number seven I would like to see changed is to see more rules for combat in various locations. I'm still waiting for my copy of Catacombs, Ugh. but I'm looking forward to playing in an indoor environment. But I would like to see more varied terrain for Warcry or just various rules that you can use in various locations in the eight points. So maybe we could have some forest fighting, fighting in different sort of geographic locations in the eight points. I think that would be a great addition for the campaign and more rules to vary the game experience. In the coming weeks, I will be doing a lot of coverage of the catacombs, painting, playing, and just I'm so looking forward to getting my hands on it and digging into it. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe down below.